Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to do a reverse VLOOKUP and we're going to use a couple interesting ways to do that using choose and array constants and uh, so let's dive right into it and see how it goes. So here we have a list of months January 2014 to June 2014 and categories A through E for each one of those and then a value that represents the combination of the two. Now we want to take this data and fill in this table here using a lookup that looks up January 14 through June 14 and the labels A through E and then populates the correct cell accordingly. And this is ultimately the formula we're going to end up with VLOOKUP and a choose function and we're going to use something called array constants and we're also going to incorporate a helper column. So let's see how we're going to do this. The first thing we're going to do is add our helper column and what I'm going to do is in column D I'm going to concatenate the month of the year and the label. So I'm just going to take equals A1 and ampersand B1 and hit enter and now I have 41640A. Now basically it converted January 1st of 2014 to its label of 41,640 and that's fine because all we're going to do is use it for a match so we're going to go ahead and copy that down and now we have the concatenation of the month of the year and the label A through E. So now let's start building our formula. So I'm going to type equals VLOOKUP, hit tab, and our lookup value again is going to be the same concatenation. I'm going to choose H2, but I need to make that a mixed cell reference so it locks the H but not the row when I copy that. So I'm going to hit the F4 key once, twice, three times, and then I'm going to concatenate that with I1, and again I'm going to make that a mixed cell reference. I'm going to hit that twice so it will lock the row one but as I copy it to the right it will allow that to be a variable uh, as it moves across. So that's my lookup value. Now my table array is going to be using the choose function. So I'm going to type choose, hit tab, and the index number, this is going to be kind of tricky, we're going to use um, curly brackets here and then 2 comma 1 and then close our curly brackets and I'll explain this in a second and then hit comma and then our first value is going to be the values in column C and I'm going to hit F4 to make that an absolute cell reference and our second value will be the values in column D and again hit F4 to make that an absolute cell reference and then I'll close the choose function and hit comma so we'll move to the next portion of the VLOOKUP formula and that is what's the column index we're going to look in and that's going to be column 2 and is it going to be a false or true match I'm going to type 0 which is the same as false I'm going to close my parentheses hit enter and it gives me the value of 50 and that matches January of 2014 and A gives me a result of 50 Next, I'm going to copy that formula across and copy it down. And if I check any other one, for example, May of 2014 and D, May of 2014, D, the number 6, that matches, and we get the results we need. Now, let's see, how does this work? Normally, VLOOKUP has to look in the leftmost column and choose the result from the correct row in whatever column to the right you indicate. In our case we indicated the second column to the right with the number 2 as the uh, second last argument in our VLOOKUP table. But what the choose function is doing here with the array constants is it's saying create a table and the second column is the C column and the first column is the D column. So in essence VLOOKUP thinks that the first column is the concatenated date and label and it's going to look it up in the second column which is the values in column C. So by using the choose function and the array constants 
we've been able to actually create a backwards table for VLOOKUP to look up the values that we have to match the correct month and label and populate our table with the proper quantity. So I hope that made sense. In the um, notes below my post, I'll put the link to uh, Microsoft's site explaining array constants a little bit more detail than what I did and um, hopefully you can get a better grasp of that and use this kind of concept to uh, be able to create a VLOOKUP where it's looking left instead of looking to the right. And there you have it. Hope it's useful to you. Hope you liked it. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.